Welcome to episode six eighty six. Robin Tsang, Battery King from China. This is an outline of episode six eighty six. There are three reasons we study Robin Tsang. First, he is the Battery King of the world. Second, he earned a PhD in density physics. Third, he founded his company CATL in twenty eleven. In nine short years, he went from zero. To eleven billion dollars. Robin Chang was born in Ningde City, Fujian Province, China, in 1968. Later, in 2011, he would build his world-famous company, CATL, in Ningde, where he was born. In 1989, he graduated from Shanghai Jiao Tong University with a degree in shipping. In year 2000, at the age of 32. He joined ATL. ATL is one of the world's largest producer of batteries. For example, for Samsung, he would work eleven years in ATL. While at ATL, he earned his PhD from the Institute of Physics at the Chinese Academy of Science. His dissertation is on density physics. In 2011. At the age of forty-two, he founded CATL, which is a spin-off of ATL. They both in the lithium battery business. Tianang, located in Xinchuan Village in Zhejiang Province, is one of the biggest Chinese battery makers today. Let's take a look at how it began. Quiet and underdeveloped, how could they win the race? 是老房子，都是老房子，嗯，根本没有一八九九的。Now let us ask an interesting question: Why CATL in 2011, when you already have ATL founded in 1999? In just nine short years, the net worth of Robin Sam would go from zero to eleven billion dollars, and there are three reasons for it. The first reason is cobalt, which when added Reduced the possibility of battery explosion to almost zero. Battery for electric vehicles. In 2006, Robin Tsang earned a PhD in density physics. The third reason is Robin Tsang went to Bell Lab in the United States to purchase density. Patents. ATL is doing extremely well and became the world's largest producer of electric vehicle batteries. Robin Tsang lined up important customers like Mercedes-Benz and BMW, and most recently, Tesla. Next, Robin Tsang sent out a message to his employees: If there's a typhoon, will pigs be able to fly? I'm going to explain here the pigs and the typhoon. The pigs is his company, CATL. The typhoon is the brewing storm, the Chinese government subsidy for electric vehicle, which will end in 2020. Now, here is a Chinese official discussing the role of subsidy in electric vehicle or electric cars in China. The average subsidy is about U.S. ten thousand dollars per electric car. This video is made in January twenty twenty. The question for future generation is: Will Robin Sang able to fly? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Robin Sang nine lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.